Hey everybody. Now this is going to be a slight variation on the uh, previous <clears throat> video that I just did. Done. I just done. Uh, it's the hot dog, which is going to be these jumbo princes hot dogs over here. Now, in the last video, what you did, you saw me rolling the uh, the bread. What it was, you know how a bit of bread is is longer than it is wider. Well, what I did. I turned it sideways and rolled it along the, the, the like this way, you know, the, the width to make it stretch out the width. Now this one, I've turned it around and I've actually rolled it lengthwise so it'll stay the same width, just make it longer, which is the complete opposite of what I did before. I've put less filling in it this time, so I'm hoping what with the, the bread being slightly longer and the... Uh, what do? Yeah, less filling. I uh, hopefully it'll it'll you know wrap together again. Okay, here we go. Uh, it's coming up to seven o'clock. I'm going to put that in for approximately two and a half minutes, and I'll show you. I'm going to roll it up, see if I can do a better job, and then put it in the air fryer. Actually, perhaps I should explain what I've done here. <laughs> okay, I've um yeah I, I've I've lengthened that the the piece of bread is more like a rectangle lengthened it, put chopped onion, these are just regular pickled onion from a jar, they're nothing special, no no raw onion, well not regular raw onions, just pickled onion, uh, chopped that up finely, put that across, took a gherkin, cut that into small pieces, in fact <clears throat> that's, what the, that's what the onion and the uh, gherkin looks like, cut it into good small pieces, then with some uh, hot dog relish, put that through there, and that's what I've done. So I'm going to put the hot dog across and then roll it as I did before. Now also what I'm thinking is, I'm going to have um, have a slice of cheese. There you go. So I'm just going to unwrap this and I'll show you that. Yeah. Okay, well I'm going to, I'm going to cut this bit of cheese into strips. Uh, Mainly because I don't know what I'm doing here. I sort of like want to spread it around a little bit. Okay, that's about two minutes. Yeah, I'm just going to even it out. Um, let's see, put a bit down there, bit there. Okay. Now, the, the hot dog, it would normally boil. <clears throat> it would normally boil for five minutes. Uh, but it's going to be boiling for like two and a half minutes. Or I'll give it another 20 seconds. For three minutes out of the five, and what I do, I'm gonna put that in, roll it up, and where's those two little and if if need be, I've got the two little sticks from the uh, you know on standby. Uh yeah, and then, then put it in the mini uh, air fryer. Okay, the water's been turned off. I'm just gonna drain or uh, try and allow, you know, just trying to shake off uh, some of the excess water on here. And uh here we go. Now, that's there. I'm going to roll. Uh, yeah, it's pretty hot. I'm going to try and roll that over as best I can. Ah, or okay, well, it's slightly easier than before because I had less um, filling than before. Now, there you go. Actually, and this actually holds together a little bit better. I don't know whether that's going to sort of hold it, you know, hopefully it'll hold it together while it's cooking and sort of have it one big parcel. Okay, so, here we go again with the uh, air fryer. Put that in, I'll put that in for, what's that, it's six minutes. <clears throat> it may take less than that, but uh, the last time it took like four or five, but anyway. Okay, so, five minutes. There we have it. It's been in for approximately five minutes or so. Now, yeah, because I was just thinking just a second ago. Actually, these sticks did a good job holding it together while it uh, sets. Um, I was thinking, yeah, you know, like, I, I, I know you've probably done it. I've, um, I've, I've gone into the shop with a hankering for, a, you know, to buy a hot dog or, you know, make my own hot dog. They've got loads of hot dogs, but no hot dog buns. You know, they've got every other kind of bread in there, but the 
ran out of hot dog buns. This is a, a good way of having a hot dog without being, you know, if you can't, able, if you're not able to get the buns, or you run out of buns or whatever, you know, it's uh, yeah, you can just make it with a slice of bread. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, so this one's fairly the same as the one I did before, only it's got less filling, which makes it a lot easier to wrap. Also, I rolled this, the slice of bread, remember it's a rectangle. I rolled it lengthways, whereas the other one I rolled it widthways, so that makes a difference, it makes it longer, there's more to fold over. Okay. Anyway, and also this one's got cheese, which the, the first one didn't, so uh, cheese is always a good idea. Anyway, so, yeah, it looks very appetizing, let me tell you. It's... Hmm. Yeah, you just got to be careful with all the stuff falling out. Hmm. Yeah, it, it's actually not too bad. If I had a favourite, it would have been the first one, though. I don't think the cheese is a bad option here. It's just that the first one had a lot more gherkin and a lot more onion. This one has less, but it has cheese to make up. Hmm. The cheese doesn't actually... I'm surprised to say, because cheese goes with everything. Cheese doesn't actually help this dish, this hot dog. You know, more gherkin, more onion helps. Mm. Well, it's not bad with the cheese. Just a bit without. Mm. 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 There you have it. If you don't have any hot dog buns, or you fancy something different, flatten out a bit of bread. And like I say, if you don't have a rolling pin, just use uh, an old, you know, glass jar. Use that as a roller. Okay. Anyway, I hope that was useful to you. And thank you for watching.